YouTube video. Oh, sure, yeah. We're going to, um, I guess... Oh, Jim's missing, though. That's okay. Okay. Oh, James is... Yeah, okay, that's okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay, hello. We're Team D2. My name is Justine Cordero. Um, this is... Reggie, Reggie Bizel. Okay, hello. Um, Ryan, hi. Okay, James is missing. Yes. Okay, uh, we're yeah. missing James Hansen. Yeah. So, um, so our project is called the Click Mechanism in Insect Flight. And this mechanism is essentially a type of flight mechanism that honeybees and houseflies share. That is essentially it's an impulsive action for the midstroke of the wing, which causes a quick, quick release of energy where the, the wings just experience a sudden movement, sudden motion. Design where, where it's the model would be experiencing increased velocity with have, without having to increase its frequency or the amount of force uh, used for the flap. Mm -hmm. okay. So um, we can actually have Reggie talk about a little bit of the, the um, 3D modeling okay. and um, the accelerator. We did a motion testing. As you can see, we had the the base, two sides, the top, and the the base for the wings, uh, 3D printed, because the the holes for the joints were very small. It was very difficult to machine. We attempted to machine it, and it just any any crookedness just made the machine not work. So we 3D printed it, and that's fine. It works wonderfully. Um, as for the motion study, we took a very small accelerometer. We attached it right here, and it's shown in the the graph that having the, having the spring it does increase the velocity at the top and the bottom of the stroke, and w without increasing the frequency, it's at the same frequency, at the same pressure, having the spring oh, the spring does move. Yeah, the spring is the move. yeah. The spr having the spring does induce the click mechanism. Are you talking about the spring here? Yeah, the spring is this this one here, and yeah. it, it's on both sides. Is it? It's very stiff. It's um, very stiff. The stiffness is um, um, 0.16. It's 0.18 uh, outer diameter. Yeah. Um, the the stiffness is in the paper, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I, I think it's, it's around 0.16. I think it's about two thirds of the piston force output. And also yeah. in terms of how the model is being actuated, it's being actuated yeah. first, uh, via an air cylinder and solenoid. Yeah. So this provides a re re reciprocating mm -hmm. motion up yeah. and down by can providing... You, can you... Oh, actually, Jim, that's why Jim actually is getting more air for um, oh. things that we don't actually, we can't power it. Oh, okay. So he's because we ran out, everyone was using the... We could, we could do a demonstration when yeah. he comes back. He should be back soon. Where the air is from? Uh, he grabbed the whole cylinder. There, there's an oh. air cylinder that he grabbed. Yeah. Uh, but aside yeah. from that, uh, the air cylinder is connected to a timer. I see. Which is connected to a battery. Uh, uh, so he's coming soon? He's coming back soon. Okay. Okay. Uh, can it actually lift that much? 